Hello and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video. In this video we're going to be looking at some more 3D modelling. Uh, we're going to be looking at creating slightly more complex shapes that consist of uh, more than one basic object uh, and also looking at the user coordinate system or UCS as we'll probably call it from here on in. So uh, what we're going to be doing first of all uh, is we just need to check a couple of things. Uh, if you go to your uh, status bar here at the bottom uh, you should find that this uh, option and this option are available and if they're not then come over here to the customization button and uh, select 3D object snap and dynamic UCS. Now we want to make sure that those are appearing uh, inside here uh, but we won't activate them just yet uh, for reasons that will become clear. So let's start by creating uh, a box as we saw how to do in a previous video. So there's our box, that's nice and simple, just arbitrary sizes, just done that completely randomly. Now let's say I want to put a cylinder on this face here uh, and uh, raise that upwards. Well, If I want to do that, what you need to bear in mind is when you're doing 3D CAD is that this plane here where we've got our X and Y values, that is the plane that we will draw on. Now I can uh, demonstrate that by doing the following. If I select cylinder and I think, right, I want to put a, a cylinder on top of this cube. So I'll click here and I'll create a cylinder and, oh, what's happened? Why is the cylinder not on that face of the box? If I pan round now, or orbit round rather, you can see that it's been created off to one side like that. Now the reason for that is that when I clicked here, uh, the program didn't uh, didn't know that I wanted to draw it on this face of this uh, cuboid here, uh, and it just went well. It's clicked there, and it and it's just mapped that onto a point on the grid uh, system on the X Y plane there. So let's get rid of that and see what we can do. So the trick, as you can probably guess, is to get this uh, little thing here to uh, move so that we can move the whole plane that we're drawing on. Now there's a number of ways that we can do that. Uh, mainly if we come here to the home tab uh, and go to the coordinates panel we've got lots and lots of different options here so we'll just consider what a couple of these are so the first one that we'll look at here uh, is this button here that's marked UCS so when we select this uh, what happens is that the uh, XYZ uh, little widget there becomes attached to uh, the pointer of the mouse and we can move this around and place it in different places so what we're going to do is we're going to select some uh, parts of this object. Now what we could do is just use uh, the two-dimensional face of it and snap to the corners. Uh, that'll work. Or what we could do uh, is come down here uh, to our 3D object snap and turn that on. Make sure that we've got our vertex uh, options selected. And then click on there. And as you can see, what that'll do is it'll select that corner for us as well. Uh, but you notice that it's gone kind of a blue color now instead of a green color and that's because it's snapping to a 3d object and not a 2d object so let's uh, place that on there and then so what that's done is it's placed uh, one point of that down but as you can see i can still move this around pretty much freely wherever i want so if i click at some random point here now i'm going to end up with a completely random plane as i'll demonstrate so if i put that there and then put that there my plane goes all over the place which is no good so let's undo that and try again so if I select that point there and then this point here and then what that's done is it's it's kind of tied the X and the Y axis into a plane so we know where it is now and the only thing that we need to think about now the only thing it's asking us for now is where do we want the Z axis to point so we'll have it pointing up the ways so I'll bring my mouse up the ways like that and as you can see the plane has now come up and snapped to the top of this box and by selecting uh, the uh, snapping in the corners there we've made sure that we've actually selected uh, the um, corner of that so that means that this plane is now perfectly aligned with that face so now if I want to draw my cylinder on there uh, now again it's, it's not going on here very well so if I look down here to my 3D snap and select that and if I select center of face make sure that that is selected what it should do now is when I come onto here you see you've got a blue circle there that blue circle indicates that I can now snap to the center of that face the center of there so again just as you would draw uh, a cylinder normally first of all select the radius and then uh, specify the height you can see there that we've created uh, a cylinder on that face there okay so 
now what we need to think about is if I want to create uh, a uh, cone say on this face okay this face here how am I going to do that again if I just select a cone and think right well I'll put my cone there uh, and start drawing that as you can see my cone has ended up in a very very random place I'll just try it one more time you see and even though it's snapping with that 3d object snap that's only finding the center of that face it's not saying where do you want your cone to be so that's obviously not spectacularly helpful to us so let's uh, get rid of this one because that is again absolutely no good to us so we won't use that so now what we can do is uh, look at moving this around in a different way so first of all let's say I want to actually put the cone on this face let's consider that so what you can now do uh, is select this, this option here which is uh, at the minute it's set to act X, but what it does is it rotates the coordinate system around one of the axes. So if we select the X axis, you can see now that the X axis is staying exactly where it was before. So I can change that round from there to there. If I now uh, select that corner there, then you can see that the drawing plane is now snapped to uh, this face perfectly. So let's say I want to put my cone on here. There's the center of that face if that's where I want it to go. Specify the radius. Again, I'm just using arbitrary values here. Uh, if you need to do this carefully and accurately, uh, you can do so. And let's put uh, a cone on there like that. So now anything that I try and draw on here now will start to come on uh, this drawing plane. So as you can see, the position uh, of this object will define uh, the where the, the drawing plane is in terms of its x and y values so that's quite a useful thing to know if I now think well actually I want to go back and start drawing on the plane I was on before one very useful feature here is you can push this button here uh, which is UCS previous so by clicking that it then restores us to where we were before uh, to the previous plane uh, so that's quite useful if you you can't just undo obviously because that would delete that but this way it uh, just restores uh, the UCS back to its original position. Um, the next option uh, that we want to look at is uh, how to create a UCS by specifying its origin and uh, we'll look at that now. So the way that we do that is we uh, select this one here which is origin and then what happens again the UCS becomes attached to uh, the uh, cursor and we can move this to wherever we want so I can move this to this point uh, and the origin has changed the UCS has changed uh, we can do it again we could plunk it possibly down in this corner if we wanted to put it down there but notice that the uh, orientation of the plane isn't changing at all that's all changing uh, staying exactly the same so it doesn't matter where we click we'll always have uh, that flat plane uh, in the same orientation as it is here just in different positions uh, another useful option that we can use, uh, which is quite useful at some times, uh, is this option here, uh, which is view. So at the moment you might uh, have a view of something and think, well I want to actually draw something exactly on the plane that I'm on now. So by clicking this one here, view, it will change uh, the plane so that it's exactly parallel to your view. Now if we rotate this around you can see it's it's a bit odd looking because it's kind of uh, it's kept the the origin the same but it's moved uh, the uh, orientation of the plane around to your view which can be quite helpful if you find a view that you particularly want to to work on so you might want to do something on this uh, plane here uh, then you can just click that okay so what we want to do now uh, is restore this to uh, its original uh, world coordinate system so by clicking that it puts that back to where we were when we started which is the world coordinate system not the user coordinate system so let's now consider a very very useful tool uh, which is this one here the dynamic UCS so if I turn that on now before if I'd wanted to draw something on this face I, I had to change the plane and uh, start uh, moving the UCS around and drawing on there but if I want to put say um, a wedge on this face here now now that I've got the dynamic UCS on uh, as you can see as I move over this it's constantly selecting the faces uh, that are available to me to draw on so let's say uh, I want to put a wedge uh, on this face here 
when I start drawing this now on here, it's automatically aligning uh, to the plane that that face is on. So by clicking here and here, you can see that I can start to create uh, the wedge that I wanted to uh, previously. So there you go. Uh, so that is the dynamic UCS, and that's quite handy where you've got quite a lot of complicated shapes. So if I want to put something like a pyramid on here, uh, then all I've got to do is select my pyramid, and uh, this is quite useful where you've got a lot of fairly random uh, sort of shapes like this. So if I click there and there, you can see that that pyramid is perfectly aligned to that face. So that's the dynamic UCS. So just a few ways of uh, changing the UCS. I suggest that you have a look at the others yourself, uh, have a look through them, uh, and remember to look at the command line uh, when you're using them as that always uh, gives you guidance as to your next step. So I hope this has been of some use. If you have any comments or suggestions, then please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.